There are literally hundreds of ways to cook one of these. And today I'm going to show you how to scramble an egg inside its shell using some physics and a tennis ball. To make your egg scrambler, you'll need a tennis ball, shoelaces, tape, elastic bands, and a sharp knife or scissors. Cut an X-shaped opening in your tennis ball for the egg to go through. Then add a couple of holes on opposite sides to thread the shoelaces through, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Carefully push your egg into the scrambler, and then use some duct tape and elastic bands to stop your egg from going airborne. Take a lace in each hand, and then wind up your scrambler like this. When you pull on the laces, it'll spin back the other way really quickly. Continue to do this in opposite directions for about three minutes or so, and your egg should be fully scrambled inside its shell. But unless you've got the arms of the Incredible Hulk, they might start getting a little bit tired, so don't be afraid to get a friend to help you out. Now, the reason it spins faster when you pull on the laces is the same reason that an ice skater spins faster when they pull on their arms, the conservation of angular momentum. But why does this spinning action scramble an egg inside its shell? Well, eggs contain substances of different masses. The yolk is the densest, so it sinks to the bottom. Then we have the white, or albumin, and the air floats to the top. When we spin the egg, stop it, and quickly change direction, the parts with a greater mass change direction more slowly. Now, this is because of inertia. Inertia describes an object's resistance to a change in motion. So put simply, this means that the parts with a greater mass require more energy to start, stop, and change direction. So if we think back to the different things inside the shell, the air is able to change direction more quickly than the white, which does it more quickly than the yolk. So when we rapidly spin it and change the direction, this causes friction between the membranes, meaning that they break apart, and the egg is scrambled inside its shell. Now you need to boil your egg for about 10 minutes, which is a little bit longer than a regular egg. Let's see if we've made a golden egg. So carefully lift it out. <laughs> so here we can see that the shell has split open when it's boiling. Now this does sometimes happen when the egg is scrambled in there. So we're gonna cool it down by dipping it in some ice water so it's not too hot to handle. Okay, well, here is our golden egg. It looks a little bit strange after it's been scrambled up inside its shell, but the real test is if we cut it in half and see if it's the same color all the way through. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Instead of seeing that distinct white and yellow of a hard boiled egg, we've now got the same uniform golden color all the way through. Now it's time for the true test, which is the taste test. So, let's give it a go. Not bad. It's a little bit creamier than a regular egg, but tastes pretty good. So that's how you scramble an egg inside its shell. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it around, and click on my egg scrambler to subscribe. Which is best, fried, scrambled, or boiled? Let us know in the comments below. For more kitchen chemistry to try at home, check out this video. And if we've inspired you to try some science at home, then send us your science videos on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. You might start getting a little tired. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Covered in egg. Oh, there's egg in my ear. Oh.